Fellow Rotarians, congratulations of being individuals who are willing to step forward and tackle the tough problems in our communities at home and around the world. Rotary District 73 night is now 100 years old. We have a history to show and a legacy to share. This is the opportunity to join us and be part of the dream of the next 100 years of service. I am proud to serve as the first Latino district governor in District 7390 as we plan the next century of service. When Paul Harris first gathered three of his service-minded friends together in 1905, the Windy City became the birthplace of the largest non-governmental aid and service organization in the world. Now standing at 1.2 million members in 34,000 communities. Harris's original vision is going strong today. He wanted to find a way where personal connections and tolerance would end conflict. Paul Harris felt strongly that this approach would ultimately relegate war to the history books. In 1911, Harrisburg was the first local club to join the fledgling organization, then just 23 strong. Harrisburg stands as the only centennial club in the district now, followed by Lancaster in 1915 and the York Club chartering in 1916. Tried and true, there are some venerated members continuing to serve the district, like this group from the Harrisburg Club with more than 50 years of service. Women were first admitted in 1987. Virginia Roth of Harrisburg and Joanne Bancos, one of the founders of the York East Club. I've seen a lot of changes. One of the changes I've seen was the uh, introduction of women as members. And uh, I've often said that uh, we would really be lost without women as members now. Rotary was growing briskly. So in 1939, it divided into districts. We were first designated District 3. Then six more divisions followed. Currently, with 46 clubs and more than 2,400 members, we are now District 7390. Our first district governor, Robert Clark, lived in Boston. The first local governor, H.C. Fry, was from the Harrisburg Club. The first Latino district governor is now engaging Rotary in changing lives. At the community level, each club determines what issues to address and devises a method to help. The first woman district governor, Ann Keim, leads a life devoted to education. She partnered Rotary with WGAL to recognize outstanding instructors in the Teacher Impact Awards. My passion for Rotary is education, teaching and learning, helping people to become better leaders, Throughout the district, clubs launched a wide array of local projects from providing school books, treating eye and dental problems among low-income students, aiding treatments of autism in children, building libraries, feeding the indigent, housing the homeless, creating parks and family recreational opportunities. It's changed my life. It's made me a better person by learning from other Rotarians uh, how to help uh, others less fortunate, and in my community and communities around the world. Our members have supported the Red Cross, fire and ambulance services, tackled head-on some of the nation's largest national disasters. We fund symphonies, historical centers, arts and cultural events. We play Santa to hundreds of children across the mid-state. Rotary has supported wounded warriors and helped establish the Gold Star Garden in York to remember the Pennsylvania fallen in the global war on terror. Golf tournaments have always been a popular way to raise money. As demands for funds grew, York East Club engineered a new way to raise money in a competitive but fun way. The County Cup was born as a croquet tournament distributing tens of thousands of dollars to multiple nonprofits. Rotary fosters youth by recognizing students of the month, raising scholarships, 
participating in America's Promise and promoting leadership at RILA. Mechanicsburg North established an early youth program to round out the Interact and Rotaract clubs, helping the community in a variety of ways. Jupe Exchange is one of the greatest programs in Rotary internationally. Every year, more than 8,000 students go all around the world in exchanging students. In Rotary 7390, more than 600 students in more than 40 countries had benefits from this program. District 7390 has led Rotary Foundation missions around the world in support of the goal of wiping polio from the face of the earth. Only three countries now have active polio virus. We are this close. We are this close to ending polio. Clean water is an important international humanitarian goal. The United Nations and World Health Organization established a standard of two gallons per person per day. And yet 20% of the world population does not have even that amount of clean water. Consequently, about 6,000 people and 3,000 children die every day as a result of waterborne illnesses, diseases from diarrhea or parasites. Preventable blindness, health, education, and human service are all addressed through Rotary humanitarian undertakings. The largest RI multi-country mission took place in Brazil in 2004 under the leadership of PDG Connie Spark and the latest mission closed in Jamaica in 2014. Bringing everyone together from all over the world internationally, working with the local Rotarians and volunteers here in Jamaica, together we are making a dramatic difference. Group Study Exchange provides the opportunity for young professionals to experience life in another country. D7390 continues to pursue Paul Harris's original mission to meet on an individual level, uniting hearts and hands across the world. So what of the next hundred years? Members are fully invested. I think Rotary is highly relevant um, today as an organization. And new clubs are being added. I had the opportunity to help start the Penn Square Club in Lancaster. And uh, it's been quite an experience to, to see how a club can start. You have just seen a snapshot, a sample of the kinds of service that Rotarians are doing locally and internationally. Over the past century, we have demonstrated the power of service about self. Now imagine with me, what challenges and opportunities the next years of service will bring to our region and to the world. So let us keep one, bring one, and be one, so we can be united as we do good around the world.